Hey everyone, it's Cheddar Sombrero here, and today we're going to be going over the No Man's Sky Beyond Patch Notes for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. The patch notes are viewable on the nomansky.com website. We're going to be first going over the Beyond Patch 2.05, which covers all systems, PC, Xbox One, and PS4. The patch notes read as follows. Hello everyone. Thank you again to everyone playing Beyond especially those taking the time to report any issues they encounter via Zendesk or console crash reporting. We are listening closely to your feedback and have identified and resolved a number of stability issues. Fixes for these were released on Steam Experimental last night, and this patch, 2.05, is now live on PC. We'll be rolling out these fixes to other platforms as soon as possible. As of right now, this patch is already live on other systems. Bug fixes. Fix for crashes occurring in the space anomaly. Fixed a number of issues causing some players to experience low frame rate after visiting the space anomaly. Fixed a rendering related crash. Fixed an out of memory crash. Fixed an issue that could cause a crash when manipulating inventory in close proximity to a high number of players. Fixed a crash affecting VR with super sampling enabled. Fixed a situation where network connectivity issues could prevent players from speaking to NPCs aboard the space anomaly. Fixed an issue where storage containers cannot be accessed. And finally, fixed a crash affecting unsupported VR hardware. Now for the next portion of the patch notes, we have 2.06, which is only live on PC as of right now, as well as 2.06 B and C, which we will cover later in the video. So essentially, they say about the same thing that was said in the last part. We're just going to go over the bug fixes now. And the fixes for 2.06 are fixing an instance rendering crash, as well as added improved warnings for GPU issues and Vulkan driver support. They've also fixed incorrect full screen or max size on 4K scaled displays. They also have a fix for uninitialized render buffers returned from the API, whatever that means. They also fixed a crash for when an incorrect number of freighters spawn in, as well as a crash when disconnecting from multiplayer in the user interface, and a crash on the controller remapping screen. And the following patch that was released the next day, on August 16th, is 2.06b. In this one, improved localization, as well as fixed more rare crashes in the Nexus, as well as fixed some performance issues that were also found in the Nexus and other trading posts. There was a fix for a buffer that had to do with in-flight memory issues when you were loading in, as well as reducing maximum base node counts to allow very large bases to load in better. They've also reduced render memory usage, which will help improve stability in high watermark situations. They've also fixed a crash for older chipsets without SSE support. They fixed cockpit screens and render targets from not rendering after precise alt-tab issues as well as increased safety around alt tab and windowing to prevent less crashes, I assume. We've also fixed a crash during some factory interactions and improved stability around freighters and multiplayer. And the last of the patches, 2.06C, was able to fix, I guess, a reduced texture quality if it was causing an out of memory error. It also prevents the VR player from punching in places that they aren't allowed to use weapons. I guess they fixed a revert to the non-device local heap in low memory situations, whatever that means. And they removed misleading version numbers from the main menu. Because that one I think just said 2.0 for a while. And now we're on 2.06 or 2.05 if you're on console. They further elaborated by stating, We will continue to release patches as issues are identified and resolved. If you experience any issues, let us know by submitting a bug report. Thank you. Hello games. But yeah, so that's going to cover it for these patches that we have so far. If there's any other patches, I will keep you updated. If you're interested, make sure to stay subscribed. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And I do appreciate you for tuning in. Hopefully you're having a great day, and I thank you for watching. See you next time.